Well, I was home and never saw you here, right? <laughs> exactly. Oh man. All right, let's uh, let's wander around town here. We have a huge town. Those who wish to be blessed with luck head to a shrine west of west of the station towards Dune Canyon. Okay. West of station. Okay, but, <laughs> but yeah, there, GFX. Okay, blessed with what? Uh, luck. This blessing is said to remove obstacles by the power of luck. However, this power can only be gained by walking there. That's what the legend says. Okay. So we can only walk there, so that's, that's a hint. Only... Walk there, nice. Okay, that's something to keep in mind. What do you have to tell me? Well, this is not what I wanted to do. There, that should do it. I was called in for repairs, but it should be fine now. Oh, so that's how the they maintain these memory figures. These memory figures, essential to a drifter's travel, are one of many artifacts excavated from ruins. We members of the Ark of Destiny maintain these figures for free. You guys sure do a lot. Some consider us a religious order, but we don't exactly place our faith in any god. Instead of relying on something we can't see and praying for a better life on this planet, Founder Lamium tells us that we must live each day to the fullest in order to, for the planet to reach its ideal state. I have also heard that the Founder Lamium is guarded by a voice of a saint. Our basic principle is to live ungrudgingly so that we can devote our efforts in, to our everyday lives. So in a sense, we are kind of like a volunteer group. Oh, nice! If you have a chance and are interested, please stop by our temple sometime. We're indebted to these memory figures. We'd love to stop by one, one time. Hell yeah. So where's your place? I'm really glad the figure's not broken. It's quite a chore to replace it. If the parts aren't right, the thing blows smoke and malfunctions. Memory figures can withstand practical use, fin uh, use finally came about after many different prototypes were canned. Okay, hell yeah, let's go. I like how they gave a reason for the save point to exist i love i love when video games do that i love when video games do that oh god another cutscene i'm home caitlin have you been a good girl daddy oh good old clive have you kept daddy's promises yep i didn't catch a cold and i've been helping out mommy too but i still hate celery then let's prom uh, promise on your ribbons that you'll be able to eat celery next time. Okay, I'll try my best. I promise on my ribbons. I thought I heard Caitlin all excited. Welcome home, honey. But what a surprise. You're always, you always write us beforehand, letting us know when you're coming. Yes, I just stopped by to do a little research. Oh yes, let me introduce you to my traveling companions. Gallows Carradine, Baskar, by your side. I'm available 24 hours, 7 days a week for your guardian consultation needs, ma'am. At your service. I'm Virginia. And this is Jet. Clive's been teaching us so much about everything. I'm Catherine. It's nice to meet you all. Please make yourselves at home. Aw, what, what a nice lady. Hi, hi, I'm Caitlin, mommy and daddy's little girl. Thank you for looking after daddy. I'm sorry, but we need to take over the living room for a while. We need to do some research. I understand if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. About the research? No, no, I will never be able to fill father's shoes. How about some tea or coffee? Caitlin, will you help mommy in the kitchen? Okay. 
Oh, man. All right, let's do this. I didn't mean to actually trigger all the cutscenes in this town. Well, are we getting any closer to solving the mysteries of the world from the, word, uh, from the words of our forefathers? Who knows? All I see are words. Am I supposed to know what they mean? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, Jet. So, hey, oh, man. All right. Flirt with Jet. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm. How about you, Clive? Let's see, what could I say? Uh, you know, J hey, Jet. You, uh, you, you nice and, you nice and, uh, oh, God. I've been put on the spot. Uh, let me think. <laughs> I, I mean, Jet, if that's really your real name, I mean, you, I could call you by anything, right? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, uh, let me think. Uh, I mean, you know, Jet has amazing hair. Holy shit. According to my documents, there have been many attempts to alter our environment throughout the ages. Uh, I mean, you know, good lord. However, the method was not evolution as... I'm trying to think of how I would approach, approach Jet right now in my head the massive undertaking was called the Yggdrasil project a uh, great deal of, I'll you know what I'll try to do it after we uh, you know after we do this cut uh, cutscene right here a great deal of money technology and time was invested into this Yggdrasil system when did this project start hmm the book fails to mention it oh but there is a section here about the experts who carried out this project let's see it appears they were a party of seven, each with their own area of expertise, such as science and magic. The members of this organization were replaced according to what specific field was needed at the time. However, this organization always consisted of seven members, and later referred to as the Council of Seven. The Council of Seven. Council of Seven. Seven! Seven! What is it? Um, I can't put my finger on it. But there's something about that name. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright. So. Hey, hey there, Jet. So is that glow right there? Uh, is that... Uh, are you glowing? Because I, I think you are. Or is that the sun? I can't tell. <laughs> uh, let me think. Oh my god. How would I approach him? Like... I mean, to be fair, if I if I saw a jet in real life, I'd be like, ah! Ah! <laughs> and then he would, and then he'd be like, and then he'd be like, what the fuck? Good lord! <laughs> ah! uh, but uh, like, legitimately, uh, let me think. I mean, good lord. I mean. Jet, you, you, some big, uh, you, you pretty short, but freaking muscular. Holy shit, you looking mighty fine. You looking mighty fine. I like your hair. You, you, you brush that hair <laughs> often? I guess, I don't know. Uh, do you mind if I stand right here? Oh my God. Good old good old freaking uh good old freaking uh jet also you need to you need to get a what what's with all the bullets by the way <laughs> you you have a lot of bullets holy shit i hope that was all right i guess i mean you know good lord <laughs> oh see to be fair you know Jet, Jet wears the tight pants, so I'm cool with it. Seven people, huh? Well, we're four, and that, the profits are three, which makes... Hey, guys, I think I've come up with something. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, do we talk... I, I'll, I will talk to Clive next. 
Based on the current state of Phil Gaia, the Yggdrasil project most likely ended in failure or perhaps was aborted. Oh jeez. Was that was that decent there, Numi? Was that decent? I mean, to be fair, I would be like in in real life, I'd be like, ah <laughs> run out the door. Oh my god. Your old man was a scientist, right? Maybe that has something to do with it. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, over here through this doorway. Oh, I know what I know what we need to do. I think it would work for a lot of people. Oh yeah. See, I I for me. The photo of daddy, it's got seven people in it. And your old man was a scientist, just like the Council of Seven. This is... So, if our leader's father was a member of the Council of Seven, would that mean that this massive Yggdrasil project was about ten years ago? Never heard anything about it. Let's not jump to conclusions. Just because there are seven people in the picture doesn't make them the Council of Seven. Uh, you know, this is going to sound really stupid, but doesn't this guy here look familiar? Uh-oh. Yeah, hey, yeah, I've seen him somewhere. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> like, legitimately, I tried to go away from the, hey, your eyes are deep and blue. I could, <laughs> I could swim in them forever. I tried to stay away from that one. It's Zephyr? Oh, yeah. So, who's he supposed to look like? I think it was Malik or whatever. You know, one of the prophets. Good old Zephyr. I love Zephyr. One half of this picture was kept at Virginia's place. Is that correct? I remember seeing this photo about 10 years ago. Just when my father disappeared. So 10 years have elapsed, yet the man in question has not aged. Could it be a look-alike? Or maybe there's some kind of hidden secret behind this. Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun! It's me, Malik. See? Look at me and try to remember. Even if the cloning is successful, it is meaningless if there is nothing within. A mere vessel of flesh without memories is worthless. Oh! Wait just a little longer. I will regain your memories. Hmm. That sounds like someone we know. Ah, I slept a l I slept like a log after reading all those books yesterday. <laughs> So how did your research go? We seem to have dug a deeper hole than before. Maybe we're not seeing the whole picture because we were trying to get down to the nitty gritty. Well, uh, yeah, let's just summarize what we know up to this point. The prophets are trying to evolve the planet using artifacts. I'm sure them extracting the Guardian's life energy has something to do with this too. The goal of the Council of Seven was to rejuvenate the planet's life. There must be some kind of connection between the Prophets and the Council. And this connection might have something to do with why my father headed out into the wasteland. Hmm, the planet's life. Say, not too far from this town is a mineral vein full of gems. Are we heading there to get some spending money? Oh my god. Jet? Jet? Dude? Dude? Come on. <laughs> Well, you know what we could, you, you know what we could say. I mean, literally, we could chip down a diamond, put a ring on it there. <laughs> God damn, no, nothing like that. They say the crystallized gems we see inside ruins and caverns are actually shards of the planet's life. 
They may not provide an answer, but we might find some clues. The truth of the matter is, there is too much we do not know. I'm sorry to interrupt, but hearing you talk about Guardians made me realize something. Honey, remember our wedding? I don't remember. Well, Cat uh, Caitlin, uh, that's because you weren't born yet. Oh yes, of course. Around these parts, it is customary for a couple to visit the Guardian of Luck to wish for good fortune. Another Guardian Shrine? That means they might have headed there. So we have two leads, the Mineral Vein of Gems and the Guardian Shrine. This is big. What are we waiting for? Let's get this show on the road! Oh man. <laughs> Dollar signs! Indeed, there, knew me. <laughs> Sam 20. Uh, I think it's greed, right? Or is it money? Nope, greed. <laughs> I was surprised you mentioned that. Yes, I know. Normally, I wouldn't want you venturing into dangerous territory. I wonder why I said that. Maybe because Daddy looked like he was having a lot of fun. Did I look that way? Come to think of it, maybe you did. Watching you searching for the truth yesterday reminded me of how we, we of how we were before. It wasn't your fault about father, so please. Yes, I know. Right now, I have companions to help me along. Perhaps that is why I looked like I was having fun. Oh man! Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> You know, I might change the sim, the sim stuff over to uh, just random stuff for me, you know, etc. A, a fluffy st stuffed toy probably, probably belongs to Caitlyn. This thing is huge. I wonder if Caitlyn can even lift it. There's a reason why I like playing as Jet. We're, we're just not putting it that way. There's a reason, right? <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, like, let's go. All right, let's, uh, let's talk to everyone here. Thank, thank you for looking after my husband. If you have time, why don't you stay and rest a while? Oh, uh, yes, we can do that. Let's do that. I'm gonna stay! We need to heal! Let's do this! We went into some cutscenes! Alright. Let's go back and uh, chat with her now. Alright. So, chat. The Vein of Gems is northwest of here. Okay. Okay. However, I hear there's a fissure in the ground that prevents visitors from... Oh, fissure. Okay, so that means I probably have to hop it with my... That's... State... There's a station west of... Okay. Okay, there's a station to the west. The the other thing is to... So we need to get our horses, most likely. What is this? You feel damp air when you... Okay. It's completely dry. Would have been nice to freshen up a bit. Oh, man. There's a huge crevasse northwest of here. It's as if the planet was gashed by a huge knife. It hurts just looking at it. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's a huge crevasse to our northwest. Crevasse time! Oh, my God! Hey. Even if the sun sh should shine today, tomorrow may be a world engulfed in darkness. Only in such a twilight world can our hearts continue to shine a ray of hope. Wow, that's pretty dark. Cheville's uh, diary catches your eye. Yes. 
April 13th, cloudy. Today is the anniversary of Alice's death, but it feels just like any other day. Perhaps time does heal all pain. Or my pitiless mother. Either way, it's still sad how I don't have a clear-cut sense of my feelings. This wouldn't be troubling me if Alice were still alive today. I would have been too busy running around tending to the needs of a 10-year-old girl. Still, I cannot help dreaming that Alice would one day return. Oh, damn! That's a little dark. Yikes. Okay, let's, uh... Let's leave her. She's really distraught. We're, we don't want to make her... Ooh. Come on. You got to give me... You got to give me the goods, man. You got to give me the goods, man. We're just going to keep stocking up on other goods as we continue to travel through here. As we continue to make money, also, we just got to see if we can... Uh, I don't want to... Ooh, we can get rid of this Della card. We don't need that. Uh, Anything else that we don't need? Lucky card. Worthless. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll eat that grab bag, though. Let's do that. All right. Actually, let's chat with him. Feeling the wind that runs through the trees makes me feel nostalgic. It brings back childhood memories, and I start feeling listless. The strange thing is, I've never felt that way before. Interesting, interesting. But yeah, I might switch up some of my channel point stuff, uh, eventually. Upgrade time. Ooh, initialize upgrade. Ooh, I can up. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna do that with you. Oh man, shot hit. Uh I really need him to be able to Okay. Who do I want to upgrade? Everyone's at 9 except for Gallows. And Virginia. So we'll give Gallows and Virginia a level. There we go. Ooh, we could... You know what? Kinda... We'll kind of wait on the crits, etc. We'll chat with you, though. With no agriculture or industry, the only things supporting this town are the efforts of each resident teamwork. So you can say that this town is supported by its residents, but it's not an easy way of life. True. True. That would be a very difficult way of life. You know? But yeah, like, legitimately, how was your guys' last couple days? Hopefully, fantastic. Hopefully you guys had a good last few days. Uh, I know mine have been really good. Okay. So... The blessing of luck is to the west. Uh, you know what we need to do, actually? We need to go back in town and... 
we need to uh we need to save really fast etc etc also how did i not see this excuse me there you go there you go jet get down there Man, I wish I could see. Hello? I cannot see what I am doing here. Okay, it's, uh, it's not that. Okay, it's not that. Okay, I don't know what we do with that. So we'll just, uh, we'll just wait. Been good here? Can't wait. Can't wait for the great ace attorney? Yeah, my sister is, uh, my sister is anxiously awaiting that as well. Uh, and I will be as well. I, I probably won't get it right away. But, uh, yeah, my sister is definitely very much, uh, waiting for that game. Uh, I know I'm gonna eventually get it. Uh, eventually, you know. Okay, so. There's, we need to go. All right, Vein of Gems Northwest and there's a fissure. Okay. So, I think we need our horse. We need our horse, of course, of course. Diddy Kong plush in the mail today. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, there, Jeff Rex. All right, so northwest of here across a giant fissure. And we need... There we go. Okay, northwest across a giant fissure, eh? Here's, here's the fisher. No! Give me a second. I'm, I need to go northwest. Across the giant fisher. And by giant fisher... Excuse me? What are these enemies? Please tell me you're easy to kill. Die. Let's go. Grab. What? <laughs> what? Why is that cat doing a handstand? And that poor horse just got crushed. Excuse me? Why are those cats not using their other paws? <laughs> what the hell am I seeing right now? I'm very concerned. Cat, you don't need to be doing that. Breath mint? It gave me a breath mint too? What the hell's that, cat? The cat, oh my god. Oh, so this stupid fisher, apparently. There we go. There it is. Gemstone cave. Are you guys ready to go in here to the gemstone cave? We still have to go to the west as well and walk there on foot. It's beautiful, although it's rather cold. Yeah, you're right. There's no doubt about it. This place is cold as death. I can't feel the warmness in the air. We usually get when we come in contact with the medium. 
It reminds me of a morgue, except much prettier. Well, that's... That's glorious. Okay, most, li most likely the enemies we're done facing here are going to be susceptible to fire magic. Just throwing that out there. Are we done have hand standing cats now? Is that what we're done have? What in the hell? Ra rock baboons and a hodok. Okay. Let's hope that these enemies don't hit like trucks, okay? Oh man. That thing's still alive, by the way. Die! I don't know what this thing wants from me, but it's gonna die. I wonder if they're weak against any sorts of magic. Oh, don't! Don't punch him in the face! Uh, stop it! Stop hitting me. It's not very nice. Stop hitting Jet in the back of the head. You don't do that to Jet. Don't do that to him. It's not allowed. There is a zero tolerance policy for that. And now we're, we're gonna have to heal him up for that. Okay? You just stop it. You just stop it. Alright. There we go. Okay, am I ever going to kill these stupid rock baboons? Stop it! Stop! Uh, don't punch Jet in the head. Okay, there we go. We got rid of one. Man, I, I kind of hate not having a lot of healing. Like, can I get a team heal fairly shortly? Like, any time now. That'd be great. A nice team heal would be nice. Stop punching Jet in the face! I forgot how difficult this game was. Okay. We need to heal up. Hey there, Red! How's Red doing? How's Red doing? Let's go! Oh, I just punched a rock baboon in the face, by the way. That's not a good thing. But how's Red? Hopefully doing fantastic. Hopefully doing fantastic. Oh man, critical hit. Perfect. Stop it! Don't hit! Don't hit Jet in the face! Oh, two damage is not going to cut it there, friend. We just shoot you, we reload, we shoot you, we reload, and we pray. I'm okay, how about me? I'm doing pretty dang fantastic myself. Pretty dang fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah, your trap got disarmed, nice going. Perfect, okay. Boom. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Oh God. It's gonna be one of these really hard to see dungeons, isn't it? It's gonna be one of these. No! Unless we need to pull you out. Up in there. Dang it! All right. We gotta get rid of these these cats here. We need to get rid of these things. We must shoot you immediately. And then we gotta probably start using some magic and see if anything's weak to anything. Oh! 
Gold, let's go, Clive. We need to use magic next time. <clears throat> Wait, the cats help me out? Why am I doing that? The cats are attacking the enemy? Well, we leave the cats alone. Okay. Did you just see that? The cat was like, yo, you dead. Yo, you dead. Oh, boom. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> he did a spin in midair. Oh, don't punch me. Stop punching Virginia, please. Oh, let's go. The cats actually helped me out. Hell yeah. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, how's... Uh, I'm doing pre ding fantastic. Uh, this weekend is going to be a fantastic weekend. Uh, just... All sorts of craziness are... Uh, I've got... Uh, so yesterday, you know, got to hang out with my best friend for the first time in a long time. Uh, you know, his his mother is uh, in in her upper in her seventies, so you know, gotta make sure. I barely walked three feet, game. I barely walked three feet. Okay, we go after the baboons. If those cats are going to attack the baboons, we do that. We let the cat kill the baboon. Yes! Help me out, Mr. Cat. We leave the cats alone. We let the cat get hit by the baboon. Okay. We just go after the baboons constantly. We let the cats go after the baboon and the... I mean, legitimately, it helps us out. You! You stole my XP, you jerk! Oh my god! Why did you shoot? Don't shoot the cat! Stop shooting the cat! My god! What are you guys doing? Don't shoot your helper! The cat's helping you, man. He's, he's like, nah. We don't need any help. Oh! <laughs> okay. We just leave the cats alone. We let the cats attack the baboons. And we just go to town on uh, our enemies here. But yeah, like legit. Uh, I've been having a fantastic last few days. It's been... Really good. Booby trap. Ah! That was that was not that was not right, game. Where is this exit? Oh, it's right there. It blended into the wall. I couldn't see it. Okay. Trying to see if there's any other ex exits I couldn't see. All right. The cats help me. We leave the cat alone. We leave the cats alone. We kill the baboons. We let the cats do work for us. Take some aggro off of us. Let's go. I like this. I like this idea. I like this idea. I like this dungeon. Give me... Give me tough enemies, and then yet they're at war with each other. I love it. It's a, it's a, it's a rowdy group of enemies here. It's a rowdy group of enemies. The cat goes after the baboon. The baboon goes after the cat. And all the while, I just shoot you in the side of the head. <laughs> oh, man. And now the cat's a left. A, uh, no, the baboon's still here. Hey, Mr. Baboon, goodbye. Oh, you're still alive. We should we should start trying to cast some magic at these baboons. 
He just punched Jet in the face. Wow, this baboon just refuses to die. Okay, if we're not open that, we're gonna have Clive open this. Ooh, heal berry and a different berry as well. Hell yeah, let's go. Okay, which direction was I going in? Okay, I think we need to go this way? Oh, guess who it is? I didn't expect to see you so soon. Maya! So someone tipped you off about the gemstones too. Is that what you're after? Yeah, but not for the same reason you are. You're always so vague. I don't know what your intention is, but one thing is for sure. You perpetually appear whenever I go, wherever I go and pester me. You might have an altruistic reason for being here, but if you get in our way, I won't hesitate to take you down. Cats are like, <laughs> no like I, I are baboon, right? I just want to be true to myself and live honestly. I know you tried to stop me, but I want to know the truth behind this world. I want to solve its mystery. I have to keep going in order to keep up with my father's trail. I want to research the gemstones found in this cave, the, the shards of pieces of the planet's existence. Hmm. Despite your reasoning, you're still after the gems, which makes us enemies. Don't look at me like that. Didn't I tell you it would be no holds barred the next time we meet? Well, see ya! You better hurry, or else the gems will be mine. No, that's not going to happen, lady. Also, I hate... Okay, bombs. We just need bombs. This is going to be... Oh. $5,000! Let's go! Damn it! I like this dungeon's encounters though, so, uh, yeah. We just need to keep taking down the baboons. I, I need to, okay, guys, remind me to use magic the next round. We need to use magic the next round. While this cat's still alive. While this cat is still alive, by the way. We need to, we need to test things out. Okay. Uh, we're going to use Grav. We're going to use Devastate. We're gonna use Spectre. We're gonna use Petrify. Let's see. Grav! Behold, Gravity! Missed. Nice miss. Spectre. That did nothing. Well, that thing just died. Ah, I just got punched in the face. Petrify. Does this do anything to you? 38 damage. You're not weak to it. Devastate. Fire magic. Ooh, hello. There's some good, there's some good damage. I like that. We do that. We do that right the heck now. We devastate our opponents. We shoot our opponents and we devastate them. Let's go. And we keep Clive healed up too. Oh, let's go. Stop it. Don't punch Jet. Stop it. Stop punching Jet. It's not very nice. Not very nice, man. We devastate you. Oh, let's go. I don't know how you're still, you know, able to, you know, do stuff, but we will just continue to attack. We continue to attack. I shouldn't have healed myself. I should have healed Jet. But, whatever. Okay, that thing's down. That went after Clive, so we'll heal Jet next turn. 
We'll heal Jet next turn. Okay, we heal Jet next turn. We devastate our opponent. And we just keep shooting you. Boom. It's good to have 200 fire damage constantly happening. Damn it. Why? Why'd you have to do that, man? I like... I like causing all sorts of havoc. That's why I play a lot of... <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? Let's heal up Clive. Devastate. Shoot. Reload. Alright. There we go. This, this battle's taking too long for my liking. Die, please. Nothing! <laughs> you get nothing! Good day. Okay, well, this is not the way. No! What the hell?! I couldn't even see that. What are gems exactly? Gems are composed of life energy of the planet. This life energy can be likened to the blood of lo uh, living organisms. The, this coagulation of the planet's life blood becomes what we know as gems. Okay, thank you for that uh, tutorial right there. I, I appreciate it. Okay, let's... Nothing this way. I'll take some of this though. Okay, there game. Oh, we get a preemptive strike on you, too. Nice. I, I'll i take that. I take those. And we get, we get the help of the magic cat of destruction. <clears throat> Boom. But yeah, like legitimately, uh... Our, uh, my brain just stopped working right there. So tomorrow, I haven't decided what I'm going to play tomorrow. Uh, I want to play The Sims, uh, but I also kind of want to play something else, and I don't know what else I want to play. You know, I, I was like, you know, I kind of want to take, why are you targeting the, the cat, man? I don't get it. I don't get why you target the cat, man. I don't get it, man. She. But, uh, yeah, like, legitimately, uh, part of me wanted to take a break from The Sims for a week, but part of me is like, nah, I don't want to take a break from The Sims. You know? I I'll probably come, I'll probably come up with what I want to do tomorrow. Uh, because I do have the new pack as well, and I haven't really goofed off too much and I want you know part of me the one thing I really want to do is get into making our house so that might be what we do tomorrow I haven't decided really uh, do a little bit of the do a little bit of the mystery man stream indeed perfect <coughs> but yeah like legitimately uh, oh, hello. There's an opening right there. Okay, that drops down there. I don't want to drop down there. I want to go this way. Oh, I see our next area we need to go. I just can't seem to get away from you. I can't believe how how so much time, energy, and body fat can motivate you drifters this far. I'm really getting fed up. 
You really want some gems that badly? Then here's a present for you. Oh, how big and beautiful. Just look at that lovely color and cut. It's perfect for you, don't you think? What the hell? Well, I'm off to find my perfect gem then. Ta-ta. God dang it. Why do you have to be such a meanie face to me? Why do you have to be a jerk? Huh? Why did you have to be a jerk, lady? I'm just trying to I'm just trying to solve the world's mystery. I'm trying to save the world. And she's like, "Nah." She's like, "Nah." But yeah, like legitimately uh I have <laughs> Oh man. Yes, keep keep attacking that poor poor cat. That poor cat, man. Just die. Okay, so we devastate you. We attack you. We attack you. <clears throat> Come on, Jet. Let's go. Don't attack the cat. Please attack the baboon. There we go. Let's go. You know what would be cool? What would be cool? You know, if it was multiplayer and you could visit, right? That would be very cool, actually. You know, I'd, I'd definitely play it multiplayer. Like, I really, like, legitimately, you know, Sims stuff, I love playing The Sims for you guys. You know, that would be really interesting. Like, everyone controlled the character, got into the game, etc. That would be really cool. You know? I wish it was a reality. Okay, can we bomb this stupid rock out of our way? No, we cannot. A massive boulder is blocking your path. Bombs alone won't be able to shatter it. A sudden change in its temperature might change its comp cause its composition to degrade. Hmm, a sudden change of temperature, you say? I wonder what could cause that. Okay, definitely not you. Okay, I know what we need to do. Okay. Okay, a sun change in temperature. Now we could probably bomb it. Damn it! Hopefully it'll be in Sims 5, right? Oh man, I, I would, I, I, you know, I'm, the one thing about Sims 5 that would happen for me is I'd be playing it on PC. Now that I got a PC that can handle uh, Sims 5, I would be playing it on PC, definitely. This baboon's getting wrecked. That baboon's not having it, though. It's like, yo, you want to attack me again? Keep doing that. Keep doing that! You know what we could do? I'm going to go after one of the... I'm gonna go after one of the cats just to uh, make sure we get rid of one of them. Because we don't wanna, we don't want to have two of these cats up. <laughs> Not catch up. <laughs> oh, god damn it! 
what a doofy joke. But yeah, like legitimately, I would definitely uh, play. Some... I would definitely play Sims with you guys. We all make a cool sim and uh, just real time control each one of our characters. That would be really cool. You know, I would, I would definitely be down for that. But yeah, like legitimately, you know, it'd be really fun to see what everyone would come up with as well, you know, because that's really the, the that was really the really fun thing about uh, Sims is what you guys would come up with compared to me. You know, you guys, you guys, you guys know what I would be more able to create. You know, it'd be interesting to see what you guys would, uh, excuse me? Okay, so basically you just had to keep shooting it. Ah! You just kept having the... Oh, God. Three cats. Okay, we got to kill at least one of these cats. We're going after cat C. And while that baboon gets attacked to death. Oh my god, this cat didn't stand a chance, man. And now the baboon got shot in the side of the head, man. Uh, you know what? I'm going after cat B this time. Just to make sure... To do this. This is a smart idea to make sure that... Because we know the rock baboons don't go down. We know that the ro uh, rock baboons don't go down. Okay. Cat C still needs to die. Or Cat B. Was it Cat B or was it Cat A? It was Cat B. It was Cat B. Oh, let's go. Now we just target this rock baboon. Oh, let's go. Perfection. Hell yeah. I wish there was a... Uh, I wish there was voice lines like that in... Nothing over that way. I expected there to be a something over there. Okay, let's go through this doorway. As I mentioned earlier, gems can be likened to the blood exuding from the planet. Blood that has coagulated. Which in turn means that this place is full of wounds. Wounds translate into the decay of land, an impoverished planet. Gems can be found within ruins and buildings for this very reason. So that's why this place feels like a morgue. We feel it even more so because of the medium and the planet's life force. And also because we have been in contact with the Guardian's power. BRB? Heck yeah, they're GF Rex. So this is one of the more damaged places on Phil Gaia. Gems are ostensibly supposed to grow in size with the passage of time. Even with the large quantity of gems in this cave, the actual size does not differ from other locations. Perhaps the professor's theory is true. It may seem preposterous, but there is evidence here to back it up. Uh-oh. He knows! Okay, let's... Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay, we have only one cat to uh, 
help us so we're not gonna let the we're going to go after the rock baboons now as the cat dies mr. cat don't die also I forgot my fire magic oh let's go critical hit get up so that way we can knock you down again well, the fire magic is actually worse than my actual gun. So we're not going to even use it. Let's go. Okay, they're going to waste both their turns. We get to shoot you again. Uh, let's go. Oh my god. Let's go. Clive is such a badass. Clive, you such a badass. Let's go. Let's go, Clive. <clears throat> Ow, I got punched in the back of the head. It was very mean. Time to shoot you in the front of your face. Goodbye. Okay. came in from there can you okay we need to go this way I'm more curious about where these holes lead than falling in what why do you have to be where where am I uh oh oh my god you Okay, we need to go after the cats this time. Cat C. We go after Cat C. But yeah, like legitimately, uh, you know, definitely like legit. <laughs> Uh, my brain just stopped working right there. But yeah, like legit, this game is super fantastic. I'm, I'm hoping you guys are liking this game uh, as much as I like streaming this game. Like you guys, I, I was hoping to show off this game because, uh, you know, this game doesn't get the love it deserves, you know? And hopefully you guys have been uh, very much enjoying it. Bada boom, bada bing. But man, it has been over an hour already and I've, I've been having a lot of fun. But yeah, what has everybody been playing recently? I've been, uh, been on the old Apex grind. I've been playing a bunch of... Uh, Demon Souls. Uh, Demon Souls is going good. Slow but steady. I put 20 hours into that game so far. Slow and steady wins the race there, guys. <laughs> My build is a, a strength build. I felt like that was a good idea. You know. Especially, you know, since I'm not really ultra great at, like, Souls games. Okay, we go back up here. Leave me alone. Okay. So, I know that these drop to treasure chests. That did not drop onto a treasure chest. Okay. Uh, let's see. Damn it! But, uh, yeah. Like, legit. I've been, uh, enjoying streaming this game for you guys. Uh, this game is a treat. 
It is a treat. You guys are in for a good time with this game. Like, legit. Yeah. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. You know, it's... It's very... It's very in the era of... The golden era of PS2 RPGs. Like... You know, if you think this game, you think Dragon Quest VIII, you think, uh, you know, uh, you think other games as well. Oh, man. Goodbye. Yes, go after the cats. Don't go after the baboon. Go after the cat. Don't, don't stand behind it and shoot the baboon! He shot the, he shot the cat. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> like, literally. That's like a bad pun right there. Perfect. Like, legitimately, we're shooting the cat and it's perfect. <laughs> oh my god. That's a horrible joke there, guys. Holy shit. And the cat's... Nice miss. Good job. Boom! And goodbye. That was easy. I mean, we're getting free experience for this. I want the treasure chest in this room. Leave me alone. I want the treasure chest. Is it... Is it... We went in that one. I think this one right here. That's not one. Oh wait, it is. Amulet. Also, we should probably equip something on. Only while you guard. Hmm. Okay. I think Gale Claw. No. We do that. We do that. That. All right. We got one of two. So now. We have one more treasure chest we need to obtain. We have one more treasure chest we need to obtain. We need to kill this stupid baboon to get it. I... The old... The old... The old thing where you need to go into a bunch of different holes to fall. And then uh, try to figure out where everything is. I love that. Man, Clive, you such a badass. Clive, you such a badass. Let's go. We know the cat's most likely dead after this round. Let's go. Yep. We knew the cat was down after that. 85 damage. I can handle that. Oh, let's go! We go full steam ahead. Clive is such a badass. Uh, but yeah, like legit. Uh, I've been playing a bunch of Demon Souls. It's been really, really, really fun. <clears throat> Boom. There we go. Stop it! It hurts! There we go.
Okay, it's right there. Where? Oh my! <laughs> Game, can you can you calm down on the encounters right now? Like legitimately, I'm trying to get my bearings in where I am in the freaking room right now. I don't don't even care about the other treasure chest. Yeah, you know, but like legit getting the other treasure chest would be a really nice thing. And I think it's upper right as well. Just don't kill the baboon. Whatever you do, don't kill the baboon. There guys. But yeah. Yes, help me. Don't kill the baboon, you moron! There we go. <laughs> Good lord. I'm saying don't kill the baboon. He's like, oh, you want me to kill the baboon, I heard. No. No, I did not. Stop it. Just stop it. Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> did, did you? Oh, thank you, Mr. Baboon, for attacking the, uh, for attacking the other cat. Oh, my God. We just murdered all the cats. Well, let's hope you die. And you didn't die. Let's hope you die now. Perfect. Perfect. All right. We open it with you. Because these are explodey traps, and explodey traps don't answer my question earlier. Playing Skyward Sword in Metroid Prime 3, nice, nice. So I assume you beat. Uh, I'm assuming you beat. Okay, that was so. Uh, I'm assuming you beat Yakuza, Yakuza Zero, eh? There, GF Rex. I feel like this is the one we need. Game? Do you want me to go crazy right now? <laughs> Game, do you want me to go crazy right now? Is that what you want? Does it have some side stories to find? Nice. Nice there, GFRAX. Perfect. Hell yeah. But yeah, like legit. Uh, you know. Uh, me, me, I've been going through some demon souls. It's been slow and steady, but we've been, uh, we've been making progress through that game. And you know. The best thing about that game is making slow but steady progress. They're beating the shit out of each other. Started the last chapter at like 7 p.m. Didn't finish until 11. That final section with endless boss fights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that that end section is no joke. That end section is no joke in that game. It is pretty, pretty difficult from what I remember. Ooh, perfect. You killed that for me. I kill you for me as well. Perfect. I appreciate you. What? That hurt my face. Hey, hey there, Kumatora. How's Kumatora doing? How's Kumatora doing? All right. We're going to try this hole right here. If it's not this one. It is not. Okay, which direction do I need to go in? Not that direction. Okay. Excuse me? Excuse me? I just walked through the door, game. It's like, oh, you wanted to go through that door. I'm glad it's Friday. I'll put it that way. Heck yeah there, Kumatora. TGIF. TGIF there. Uh, 
there, Kumatora. Way back in the day. <laughs> Good old TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. I'm I'm glad it's Friday as well. I have uh, my weekend is going to be pretty nice and relaxed. Uh, I w I had a very busy week comparative. Uh, and this week, this weekend is my weekend to kind of just chill out, kind of, kind of do a little bit of stuff. Not, not crazy, not crazy busy. Yesterday I was over at my best friend's place for the first time it, since, uh, since the pandemic started. And, you know. Got to hang out with my best friend for a while, uh, you know, which was really good because I hadn't taught, I hadn't seen my best friend in uh, sixteen we uh, sixteen months, you know, uh, because you know his 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 uh his family uh, his family you know he's since he's the only child and his his family is uh you know older, I don't wanna. I didn't want to, you know, with uh, everything that happened. Play some card games and Sacred Stones with Numi? Heck yeah there, Kumatora. Hell yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Get some, get some Sacred so Stones in there? Hell yeah. Play some card games? Hell yeah. Like, I know, I know like... I know like several like 20 or 30 different versions of solitaire like I played a bunch of different solitaire uh, and I feel like the last hole up here over to the left don't you dare mess with me it's on the right second hole on the right maybe maybe that's it Second hole on the right. Second hole on the right. Or third hole on the right, maybe. But yeah, like, Solitaire is uh, playing some good old fashioned. This one. It's gotta be this one. That's a treasure chest right there. No, it's on the left. Okay. Second hole on the right was this one. Second hole on the right was this one. So it's... Third on the left? Third on the left? Something like that. It's got to be third on the left. God dang this game. Can I just... I don't know if I should be going after the rock golems or after I, if I should go after the cats. I think I should go after the cat. But the cats have less HP and they're done get attacked anyway. By the rock golems. Or whatever is left of the rock golems. Uh, now we only have one rock golem, so we need to attack one of the cats. But yeah, like legitimately... Uh, I just want the treasure chest game! That's all I want! If we don't get the treasure chest this whole drop, we're just gonna leave it. I don't care enough to get it. You know? Like, I'm not ultra worried about it. No. But yeah, like, legitimately, uh, you know, I, like, card games is always fun. 
like and if we're talking like poker or etc that's that's also fun I, I'm not big into gambling so you know I don't play for money I just play to play and have fun it's gotta be this one Okay, not that one. Oh man, I hate, I hate stuff like this. Come on, game. It's gotta be this one. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Please stop doing this to me. All right, we need to uh, kill some rock golems. I'm just getting out of this this room. I gotta get out of here. I hate I hate stuff like this. I really do. I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a fan of falling down holes to find the path or any of that dumb garbage. I just don't like that gimmick. It's it's so stupid. It's a stupid gimmick. Like, give me a break. Goodbye. Why are you targeting the cat? Why? What was what was the point of that? <laughs> you don't like games wasting my time? Exactly. Like, oh, it's like, oh, go down this hole, okay? And if, uh, if you find the correct way, it's okay. You know, it's like, really? Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do me a favor there, game. Don't put treasure chests. I'm, I'm just hoping that I don't have, I don't have to find the correct way out of this cave with going down a hole. I'm going to be really annoyed. I'm going to be really annoyed if that's the case. I love how half my voices end up being Kermit, right? How? How? How's everybody doing over there? Oh my god. I hope that one doesn't sound like Kermit. Oh. Well, I don't know what's going on over there. What's going on over there, everybody? Holy shit, boss. Now, now if I do a, a different voice like this, it'd be a little bit different. Oh my god. How you all doing there, guys? I'm doing pretty dang good. Hopefully you guys are doing pretty dang good yourself. Oh my god. Shit. Okay. So, and there was your, there was your sample man does voices for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I was on do, I was on do a, I was on do a, uh, random, uh, channel point thing where I would just change my voice. Okay, I'm done with this stupid room, so. I was on do a channel point thing where I just changed my voice. Oh my god, I hate this room! Get me out of here! Kermit went down some dark paths there. I got I got ambushed. Really? <laughs> okay. So we need to kill these rock baboons because they're gonna kill those new cats and it's going to be bad. Oh! The cat took a vicious shot. There we go. Rock baboon just got nailed. The cat just got shot. Okay. We go after the cat. We know the other rock baboons that kill stuff, but I, one of my one of my uh 
one of my uh, channel point things was I was gonna change my voice uh, to a random voice, you know, for like two minutes or whatever. I just didn't want you guys to. Uh, one of the things is is I didn't want uh, you know people to get annoyed or if there was someone that was new to the stream and they're like, "What man? What the fuck's the matter with that guy's voice, man?" <laughs> like. Why does he sound like this? I don't understand. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Could you imagine that? You're ju you just arrive to a stream. And you're like, oh yeah, this should be a really cool stream. And then you hear that and you're like, what the hell? You're like, what the hell is going on? Okay, we found our way out. Ah! I don't get it. Why do I keep ending up in the same place? The mystical mega-sized gem is waiting for me to embrace it. I don't have time for this. Hey, that's not fair. How'd you get up there? I make the path that leads to the treasure, not you. Stay where you are. Don't move. Take a nap or something. Lock yourself up somewhere. Oh, my God. I am not going to do any sort of thing. She doesn't seem to know her way around the caverns either. Which means she won't be able to hinder our progress, I believe. This is safe for us to press on. Mickey Mouse redeemed voice, oh my god. <laughs> See, I don't know how to do Mickey. I used to... <laughs> you know, I used to be able to do Mickey, but not anymore. Like... I, my voice just can't get to that point anymore. I wish I could, because I think it'd be hilarious. I think it'd be hilarious. Okay. Stop where you are. You're not worthy of the gem. Oh God, it's you three. If you're going to give it your all, then I'll gladly accept your all, and then I'll crush you. Quit hiding, Maya. Show your face. Hiding? I wouldn't want you to think that fine. Th think that fine. Behold the true powers of Maya Schrodinger. I think I'm going to puke. <laughs> okay, we get rid of Afro guy first. I remember. What's with the gaudy costume? Surprise, this is my true power. My lady possesses supernatural powers where she can convert information to her own special abilities. Even nonsensical information can be processed through the medium of a book to wield unlimited powers. In other words, she is able to channel certain characters from comics or novels. Very good, Four Eyes. So basically, she's a freak that can mimic the abilities of fictional freaks she's read, she reads about. She's gonna freak out! <laughs> you all look impressed. No, sis, they've been taken aback. I am Wonder Witch, and I have the power to cast any kind of magic. Wonder Witch? Oh my god. Wonder Witch, eh? Well, I wonder how Wonder Witch's little friends are going to feel when I devastate them with magic. I wonder how they're done it. I wonder how they're the act. And we're gonna decelerate your magic abilities. I wonder which spell she's gonna use. Okay, I, I gotta stop casting that. That's pretty much worthless right now. Oh my god. Confusion, really? On man, oh my god, okay. So we're gonna give Gallows uh healing, and we're gonna give him uh anti confusion duty. Okay, so uh, we need to heal. We need to, you know what we need to do with you. We need to get rid of 
confusion off of you. We need to just shoot you. We need to shoot you. And we need you to be on healing duty for you. Boom. All right, there we go. Get rid of that garbage. Ugh. We got to get rid of the confusion guy. I don't care about the fire breath, whatever. Can we stop? We need to heal him up. Boom. Oh my god, she can hit all of us with magic. It's so annoying, man. Okay. All right. Hmm. I feel like we need to just heal bury you. Go after you ASAP and keep heal bearing these two. There we go. Okay. That way, I wonder, she casts all of them. Please stop. Nice counterattack. Perfect. Shoot this idiot. Can you stop? <laughs> oh, man. They just keep attacking Jet for whatever reason. They're like, oh, Jet, you want to die, right? Just stop, man. More pressure, huh? Hmm. We're just going to shoot your friend. Come on. Can we... FP cost 25, by the way. We go after her little friend right there. And we keep giving Jet those heal berries. Can you stop? Man, he's not going down. We got to get him down. Okay. I don't care if he hits gallows with that. That's... That I don't care about. Okay. We have a backup heal just in case something goes wrong. Now, we have a backup full heal. Okay, we got rid of, we got rid of our first annoyance. Now we need to go after our second annoyance. Our first annoyance. Now we go after our second annoyance right now. There we go. Now we have a backup full heal and we need to get rid of this idiot. Okay, perfect. Homemade blast, stop it. No, ow! That was the back of my head. There we go, let's go. But she, apparently she's not use all the spells, by the way. All right. Oh! 
Let's go. Okay, let's let's heal up Clive. Clive is gonna shoot the cat. We need to reload and shoot the cat. And then after this turn, we'll see how much HP everyone has. Reflect. Okay. I'm not going to attack him, so it doesn't matter. We're just going to shoot your friend. <laughs> Man, okay. Uh, you know what we'll do? Let's cast. Heal on me. We'll do that. We'll go after the next magic user. Let's go after the two magicians. I say we do that. Oh, jeez. Petrify. Oh, is she going to automatically retaliate after every attack? Or is that not going to be a thing? Can you not do that? <laughs> Please stop doing that. Not very cool. Oh my god! We are wrecking her! I mean, we just go full steam at her right now. Ah! We just go full steam right at her. Then we'll just have to kill her fr uh, her uh, brother. And then we're good. We're in a good spot there, guys, right now. Alright. Oh! Oh! Pesky, aren't we? But how about some of this? Feel the might of the forbidden spell. No! Duplicator, huh? Nice. Not the forbidden spell! Not here, sis. We'd be buried alive if you cast something that powerful. We have only come here with the intent of research in mind, and it has proven fruitful, at least for us. If you're still interested in striking a vein, please proceed. We won't get in your way. But I doubt you'll find any precious gems. Uh-oh. Huh? These are just ordinary gems. We went through all that trouble to get here and... How did you know there weren't any special gems of value here? Answer me. We have been del we have all been deluded. It was a big misunderstanding on all of our parts. You mean we've been had? Maybe so. We and everyone on this planet have been deluded. Yes, I believe the professor's theory is correct. If that is the case, what is the truth? Then let me ask you something. So what drives you to face danger? That's easy. Gems. Jewels. Oh, it's just ordinary gym, right? The more I get a hold of their sparkle, the more I sparkle. But that's just a fleeting glitter. The sparkle I'm looking for is a real sparkle. I don't care how many false leads I have to follow. One of these days I will find it. And I will shine because of it. Well, I have absolutely no business being here now. The next gem is calling me, so I must bid adieu. Oh, man. She's trying to find a real sparkle among the many fake ones in this world. Let's head back to Humphrey's Peak for now. We don't have time to waste either. Excuse me? Excuse me?
All right. Well, we're not a gimbal coin, I guess. <laughs> we just left the we just left the uh, dungeon. By the way, we're like, oh yeah, you want to get out of here? Let's get out of here. Okay. We need to leave this place. All right. Oh my God. You you cannot approach this thing at an angle. <laughs> you cannot approach that at an, at an angle. Are the, oh my God, the cats are, are doing it again. They're doing it again there, guys. <laughs> Just die. We got to get out of here, man. Distracted. <laughs> get out of here. What is going on? <laughs> right. We're on horseback and the cats are not using all four of their legs for whatever for whatever reason. <laughs> and uh yeah. God dang it. I don't think that's how cats work. Exactly. <laughs> it's true. It's true there, Kumatora. <laughs> the cats are like, yo, time to do a handstand. Time to do a handstand there, guys. Boom. Take that cat that's walk eyes. Stop casting sleep. Oh, God. Don't fall asleep on top of the freaking horse. Please don't do that there, Jet. Please don't cast gra Stop. Stop it now. My back is here, right? <laughs> oh, man. Distracted. Float? Yeah, you are floating. Congratulations. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? I'm... I need to cast some healing magic on Clive right now. <laughs> Those cats have no style. They have no grace. They have... They twist their back in a funny place. <laughs> oh. Get out of here. Let's go. Now we go back into Humphrey's Peak. We uh we went through another dungeon tonight there guys. Man, we are we are in a good spot here. Okay, one thing we need to do is we need to go get some rest. Yes, we're staying the night. Make myself at home? Oh, I will. We meet again. Ooh. Indeed. Indeed, you guys do. Hell yes. Let's go. All right, you'll leave. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. No and no. Oh, man. Oh man. Uh, let's see. Let's go in here. Uh, you're not the person I want to talk to. But we need to go back to Humphrey's Peak, it said. I don't know where in Humphrey's Peak I need to go back to, but we gotta go back somewhere here in Humphrey's Peak. Upgrade. Thirteen thousand. Thirteen thousand. 
I mean, we we just gotta make Clive the super strong badass killer that he is. We need to make him the super strong badass killer. He's a badass killer. Also, well, what does Grand Bag do again? Packed with experience. That was 500 experience. Hell yeah. There we go. Perfect. We use that. We got a bunch of berries in there. Man, we we made out like a bandit in that freaking uh in that dungeon right there. We we were net positive in berries for the first time in a dungeon. That might be a good place to grind some uh, healing items, actually. That might be a great place to grind some healing uh, some healing items. Okay. Sir? When did we stop making pilgrimages? Okay. Nothing there. How about you? I don't know if it was something I ate, but I had a terrible dream last night. I dreamt that Phil Guy was filled with water and everybody was much better off than they are now. Under the clear blue sky, I was farming the land with my family by my side helping me out. But then I woke up. It was terrible. Oh, man. <laughs> I have a wild side. <laughs> I mean, you. I guess you could say that. Oh my God, a bandit. Good Lord, gotta gotta like those uh, bad guy types, right? Good Lord. <laughs> oh, oh man. But uh, yeah, like let's go back over here. Hello. Adventure one acquired. I think there were fewer monsters in this world back when we visited the Shrine of the Luck Guardian. I used to be able to walk from Dune Canyon Station over to the Shrine. I hope this world would be much safer by the time Caitlin grows up. Oh man. So I think they're trying to tell me something. They're like, yo, go to this station, by the way, that's west of here on foot. Okay. I don't know what they want me to do. They said go here. So I'm here, but no one's no one's saying anything. Maybe we talk to you. I'm really glad the figure's not broken. It's quite a chore to replace it. Okay, we already did that. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what the game wants me to do. Uh, but feel like I should probably grind out a few healing items in that previous dungeon. I feel like that's a great dungeon to get some healing items. So I think what we're going to do there, guys, is since we have a free heal right here, is I'm going to go back and forth to the crevasse uh, over the over the fissure over there. And uh, we're going to... We're not quickly. Uh, we're not. Oh my God, that this is ridiculous. By the way, I like how it's. Like, what did I do differently there? What did I do differently? Nothing. But yeah, like I think we should grind out a few uh, few heals in here. I kind of want to just grind out a few heal berries in here and let the cats do the job for me. I didn't understand what we were doing. A preemptive strike, eh? 
I think we need to kill some uh, some of these cats. But yeah, like legitimately, grinding out a few extra heal berries is a good idea. And this is part of you know streaming RPG is grinding out a few things. So yeah, how's everybody doing? Uh, hmm, what can we, what? Like legitimately, really nothing crazy has happened to me lately. Like nothing really insane. Uh, yeah, you know, have been getting decent luck with you know. Uh oh, I did. Speaking of one thing that I did come across, I did come across a game that I'm going to be buying over uh next week. Uh, that will be my Halloween playthrough. I've got a game in mind that I want to play for Halloween, and I have to buy it. Because I saw someone streaming it yesterday, and it was always a game that I wanted to play. It's always been a game I wanted to play and buy. And uh, I saw someone playing it the other day, streaming it. And uh, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. Because, uh, you know, why why ruin the surprise? Why ruin the surprise? You know? But, uh, I think it's a perfect Halloween game. And, uh, you know. Ooh, spooky, spooky, dooky, kooky game. Indeed. Indeed, it's a spooky game. Clive, why? But we got Potion Berry out of it, so I'm cool with it. As long as we get potion berries, I'm cool. I don't care. You know? But, uh, yeah. Like, legitimately, uh... Uh... A spooky game is on the horizon. I'm gonna be buying it, uh, this Monday. It's like an $8 game as well. Like, it's 8 bucks. It's a, it's a Xbox 360 game as well. So, uh, I can't wait for that. Uh, also, probably sometime in, like, September. Like, I'm the... I, I can't wait. I can't wait to play that game for you guys. Because it's been... It was... Uh, I always was going to buy that game, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> then I kept... I was like, oh, maybe next time. Oh, maybe next time. Oh, maybe next time. So, I do have my mind on a... On a spooky game. And I can't wait for you guys. Oh, man. I I, I finally had a brainwave of, uh, of a game that I wanted to play that's got a spooky element to it. Also, am I ever going to get... You know, this thing called potion berries. I came in here for the specific reason to grind up potion berries. Give me treasure chest, uh, treasure chest after battles, please. I want potion berries. It's a preemptive strike. But yeah. Like, legitimately, uh, I got... I got that on my mind. I can't wait for you guys to see that. Uh, I, I might play a couple spooky games for Halloween. Uh, this Halloween season. Depending upon how fast that one game goes. Uh, that's that's the issue. Is I don't know how long that game's going to take me. And I want to have a backup plan. Because I want to play spooky games for Halloween. This will probably be the... This will probably be the last long game we play before Halloween as well. Uh, the last one that takes a while, at least. I'm going to play another action game probably after this game. That's the current plan, at least. The current idea I have. Yeah. You know, how dare you. Spooks. Indeed. Indeed there. GFX. We got some spooks on the horizon. No berries, by the way. I want the berries. Please give me berries. 
That is all I want. Maybe I should try that in one room. Maybe I shouldn't, though. I just want berries. Give me the berries. But yeah, like legitimately, uh, that, that's been on my mind. I was like, uh, and I was like, you know, because I forgot that game existed until one of the, one of the streamers I watch, uh, was, uh, was streaming it. And I was like, holy shit. That game exists. I remember that game. I wanted to buy that game. I, I would always pick it up in store and I was like, ah, I don't feel like, I don't want to pay $60 for this. I'll wait. I waited and I waited. And this is what I always do with video games sometimes. There's stuff that I really want that I don't buy. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. And then I'll wait, right? And then I wait too long, and then I forget that it even exists. And I was like, there was a game I I wish I had that I don't remember what it was. You know? <laughs> also, I'm not getting any berries, and I'm getting really sick and tired of it. But they told me to go back to Humphrey's Peak, right? We went through the entire... We went through the entire area... Trying to talk to everybody. No one had anything new to say. So I think we need to go to the west. And uh, wherever that is. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. And now we shoot the... Now we get rid of this guy. <laughs> On sale for $15. Not yet. Oh, $5? Yes. Right? Exactly. Like, I, I do this all the time. And then I forget the game exists. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the game I want. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> I do that all the time. But we're trying to grind for treasure chests in this stupid... The, and these stupid enemies are not giving up their treasure chests. I hate it. Stop not giving me the treasure chests. I want treasure, please. Whoa! Hey! Lux! Thank you for the raid! Raiding with a party of five. Welcome, raiders! Get those fire sites in the air for our raiding friends. Get him up. Hell yeah. But thanks for the raid there. I very much appreciate it. Uh, so we're playing uh, some good old-fashioned wild arms. What was Lux uh, uh, playing? Oh, man. But yeah. We we uh, we playing this, uh, which is good old-fashioned uh, wild arms 3. Hell yeah. Oh, Wild Arms 5. Nicer, Lux. Sylvie sent, here, sent us here. Where's the popcorn? Ooh, popcorn. Sounds good. I, I want all the popcorn. Give me all the popcorn. Uh, but yeah, so I'm playing some Wild Arms 3. And you guys were just watching Wild Arms 5? Nice, nice. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, so j there's, the, there's some of the popcorn there, GFRX. Hell yeah. But, uh, yeah. Oh, this, I love this game, so... Uh, this is my first playthrough of this game. Uh, since this game came out in whatever year. It was, it's been a long time there, guys. <laughs> I, I try not to say... I will, I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm super old. <laughs> Yo, I'm like super old and uh, I played this game like 20 years ago. I'm always up to see Pokemons being shot. <laughs> hell, hell yeah. Look at our Pokemon battle right here. We we are currently... Uh, we shooting... Uh, we shooting... I don't know my Pokemon because... 
I never, I never really played a much of Pokemon, to be fair. They're, you know. But yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Very much appreciated there, Lux. I very much, I very much appreciate that. Uh, Lux Silva, Silva, my God. I, can I read? <laughs> I can't read, apparently. So we got our we got our potion berry. We just exploded in the process. Uh, but so what I was doing right now was I was grinding some uh, potion berries because this game is very mean and it won't give you any healing items. Uh, so I'm just grinding up some potion berries before we move on to our next dungeon. But very much appreciated, and uh, yeah. But yeah, what, so what have you guys all been uh, playing video game wise? Everyone from the raid. Uh, lately, I've been playing this, of course, uh, here on stream. I've been playing some Demon Souls. Uh, and I've been playing some uh, Apex Legends. Uh, because I'm hopelessly addicted to that. I go to sleep. It's late here. You live in the EU. Oh, man. It's fine. See you. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, very much there, Lux. It's very late in the EU. Yeah. Uh, see, I'm East Coast US, so, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I do have a lot of EU friends, and, uh, yeah. Have a great night there, Lux. Have a great night. And again, thank you for the uh, raid. Very much appreciated. But, yeah, uh,. Hopefully you guys have had some uh, good gaming, uh, some good gaming go down lately. Uh, you know, been kind of. I was talking about future plans for future streams, uh, actually, right as we were getting rated, and uh, one of the future plans is a uh, survival horror game that I'm gonna be buying very shortly. And it's, uh, 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 you know, the best part of this, this dungeon right here is the enemies attack each other for me. It's glorious. I love it. But yeah, like, and thank you for the follow there, Kino. I very much appreciate that as well. Uh, get all those, uh, flame sights in the air for good old Kino. Uh, also, one of the very fun facts is, uh, you get... You get some access to the old uh, follower emotes there, Kino. Uh, got some good old-fashioned follower emotes uh, ready and raring to go. Uh, as long as you're on PC uh, and uh, that's it. It doesn't work on mobile, unfortunately, just yet. Or PS4 or console or any other stuff. Emotes are top tier. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, minus the woo one, that was me. That was me. Don't, uh, that was not my, uh, artist I commissioned out. Uh, all my emotes were done by Man Over Mars, a fantastic, a fantastic, uh, Twitch streamer, artist, and, uh, a fantastic, uh, dude as well. A really good guy. Uh, fantastic to work with. But, yeah, like, uh... I got some follower emotes for you guys. Uh, you know, I, I like having and giving back to you guys. Uh, so, you know, there's those as well. So, hell yeah. Fire Scythe, I love the Fire Scythe. The Fire Scythe is my favorite. But, uh, yeah, like legit. And there, Kino. So, have you ever played Wild Arms or Kino? I'm very, I'm very curious. Also, help us, help us, uh, mountain lion, please help me. Well, the mountain lion's dying. Nah, first time watching it. Oh, uh, this game. So this is, this is like two in Sylvie stream. Nice. Heck yes. Uh, these, these, these games are fantastic. These games are fantastic. 
But I'm liking it as an RP. Uh, you're an RPG fan. Nice. See, uh, I'm. I got big into RPGs uh, during the PS2 era of uh, video games, and I got really big into uh, it because of Final Fantasy X. I loved Final Fantasy X, and uh, then I would start buying a bunch of. RPGs like Suikoden, uh, Dragon Quest VIII, Journey, uh, Journey of the Cursed King was another one that I really loved. And then I played Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, and Final Fantasy IX. You know, I, I went out and bought a bunch of the, uh, the classics. Really? I got a Healberry out of that? Well, I guess we're done there. Okay, let's uh let's go back. Uh but some of these uh so some of these uh <laughs> I hope that we see one of these because it's glorious and it's hilarious. Uh this game has a, a little bit of a sense of humor with some of its enemy designs. The one thing is it its horses don't like jumping over small gaps. Come on. There you go. Okay. We need to rest up here in uh, uh, Humphreys Peak. We're a decent. We're a decent chunk of the way into the game. Uh, this game, uh, I would say we're about a third of the way through the game. I would say right now, eh, maybe maybe a quarter. Start playing RPGs when you're in college. When these games are kind of old already. Oh, nice, nice. Nice. But they are engaging even without the nostalgia factor. Exactly. Like I love I love RPGs now as I've as I've gotten older, you know, I've very much I very much loved uh RPGs and for the storytelling and you get atypical characters that you don't get in like any other game. Like you get you get characters that are well written. You know, you get different types of characters. Like, in this game, you this character that I'm controlling right here, Clive, is like 30, a professor. Or, not a professor, but uh, he's, you know, a scientist. You know, and typically, in a lot of other games, like, being 30 years old in a video game <laughs> is like... You're close to death, uh, but uh, yeah, like I like I like a variety of character types. It's very it's very engaging, very uh, very good. What was I going to do? Okay, I need to go west. I need to head west, and I have to go there on foot. I think as well. Okay, so north is that way, so we need to go on west. All right, so there's a train station somewhere. Where is this train station? Oh, there's a sign. Excuse me, leave me alone. East Highland Station, where the sun sets. Okay. Okay, so north is that way. East is... So west is... It should be over here somewhere. Okay, gotta go. See you next time. Nice stream. Thank you there, Kino. And again, thanks for the follow. I very much appreciate it. You have a wonderful rest of your evening. All right, East Highlands we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. All right, East Highlands. Thank you for riding with Phil Gaia Railways. Uh, nowhere. I would like to chat with you, friend. Hmm. Uh, please don't pester us, station attendants. It's room right here. Oh, that's not very nice. I just want to ask you questions. Like, how was your day? What a jerk. Please stop. 
please stop pestering us. Oh, Dune Canyon. What the hell is that? What the hell's Dune Canyon? What are you, Dune Canyon? Hmm. We are... What is that? All right. I'm not gonna go here just yet. Let's look at our map. Let's look at our map. I need to go west. But how do I go west? Unless I need to go to Dune Canyon. Man, can I? All right. Damn it. Okay, floating orb thing. Just die. How about you not do that? Why? Why game? Why do you hate me? Yes, just float there, please. Of course, it's like, oh, you. Well, we'll just have you open it. Moonstone? I mean, I'm cool with that. Hell yeah. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Antidote. Boom. Hmm. Okay. I want to see. Where am I at? Okay. Humphreys Peak is there. It said. West of station towards. Dune Canyon. Oh, I need to go to Dune Canyon, don't I? Why do I have a feeling I need... I can't go this way. I have to go towards Dune Canyon. Okay, well, we gotta go to Dune Canyon. Are you guys ready to go to Dune Canyon? Because I am ready. I think. And whatever. We do it. Okay, let's, uh... Let's get our ticket and go to Dune Canyon. Depart, of course. Off we go to Dune Canyon. Okay. There we go. Another town. Another train station. Thank you for uh, with uh, for riding Phil Gaia Railways. I'd like to leave. Get out of my way, you moron. <laughs> Say, are you drifters? There's something I'd like you to be aware of. A monster by the name of Deobarg attacks people around here, and he's a very dangerous beast. He somehow responds to fast-moving things, and he's ruined so many of our trains. So please watch out. You're just asking for trouble if you're, you, you go out horseback riding here. 
Uh, what? Wait. You know what we're... Okay. We... You know what we need to do there, guys. You know what we need to do. I think we need to, uh, do this thing called get our horse and go horseback riding. All right. Okay. I just want one other thing. Chat. Dio Bark has some nasty habits. One of them is run alongside passing trains and gobble them down. If this keeps up, nobody will want to come see the Luck Guardian Shrine, so I'm worried. That's right. The Shrine of the Luck Guardian is far east of here, under the mountain across the tracks. Far east of here, under the mountain, under the mountain, across the track. Okay, you gotta take notes in these games. But now it's become a monster's nest, so be very careful not to get too close. Well, don't worry about that, because guess what? We gimmel coining. It's time to gimmel coin. All right. We are going to far east of Dune Canyon. But we have, a, we have to fight a monster. And if we don't beat it, we can always reload a, the, the file. I hope. Oh yeah, I can just save and quit from the screen. I don't have to save. Alright. Do we Okay, I'm I'm conflicted. I I kind of want to do this fight. I kind of want to do this fight. A serpentine form moves to intercept the party in their mounts. It is none other than the Diabarg. The beast that seeks to devour all that treads noisily. Okay. Well, hello, friend. We devastating you. We going to use some wind magic on you, and then we'll use some petrify. We'll see if you're... Magic resistance decreased. Oh, it's weak to wind magic. Okay, perfect. Paralysis bite. Yeah, whatever. Okay, that's useless. It's weak to wind magic, which is good. And and devastation magic. Okay. We we freaking we are going to make sure we mess this guy up we messing you up friend boom that was worthless now this isn't it's time to hit you with some wind magic <laughs> Nice miss again. Let's go. 
Let's devastate you as well. Perfect. I don't think that... I don't think that, uh... Lowers magic defense. We're just gonna continue to... Destroy you. It's time to destroy my friend. Goodbye, friend. Okay. I didn't know if it was... <laughs> uh, nice miss again. Good job. Oh, man. This thing is taking a beating. This thing's taking a beating. We are just casting all sorts of magic at it. And it can do nothing. I love it. <laughs> just continuously hitting it with trying to lower its magic resistance. I'm not even worried. I don't care. Ugh! You know what? I'm gonna heal Jet. Uh, after we just keep attacking it with Feeble Mind for a while, eventually it's going to, uh, it's going to have that go down there we go okay now we know that that's done I don't want him I didn't want him to have magic resistance for a while perfect <laughs> this enemy is getting destroyed right now I like it This is a cool monster, though. This is a pretty cool monster. We're not a heal jet. We're not a just continue to cast dangerous magic for our friend. Like, legitimately, all we're doing <laughs> is causing havoc for these guys. I love it. That was not smart, by the way. Ugh! Okay, we get in some more heals. And let's cast more devastation magic. Let's cast more vortex magic. Oh! Uh We'll decelerate you as well. Why not? <laughs> We're done. Decelerate him. Stop moving so fast. Stop. Help. Let's stop moving so fast. Yeah, nice try. That was, that was a good try. I give you an A for effort. <laughs> oh man, it's it's taking a vicious beating. I mean, legitimately, all I'm doing is going to be casting Feeble Mind at you again now. This is an easy fight. I like this fight. Let's just see if it... I was so... I was so worried that this fight was going to be terrible, uh, very difficult. This, this fight's not <laughs> slowing them down so you can't chase trains anymore. True. <laughs> no effect. Oh. I can't wait to get some actual magic for, uh, Gallows. Destroyed.
Dragon Fossil times 15! Let's go! Well, that was worth it. The menacing gargantuan was vanquished thanks to the bravery, bravery of Virginia and her comrades. The dragon fossils that slept in the belly of the beast had broken into glimmering shards and now rest at their feet. Okay, well, that was easy. I can't dismount here. Okay, let's, uh, let's quickly... Let's quickly exit. Let's quickly save. Woo! Exactly! Exactly there, GF Rex. That is definitely a woo moment right there. Hell yeah. And barely a scratch on me. Barely a scratch on me. Let's keep it going. Okay, we need to go far to the east of Dune Colony. Okay, far to the east of Dune Colony. Under the mountain across the tracks. Okay, under the mountain across the tracks. It said far to the east. This is north. So this is east. Under the mountain across the tracks. Well, far to the east. Far to the east? This isn't far to the east. Holy shit. It's like five seconds away. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to have to go on a long trek. Yo! Yes, I sense it too. The last time Catherine and I were here, we did not feel this evil presence. Feels as though monsters might jump out at a mo any moment. I can't sense the Guardian's life force with this vile atmosphere. We need to go in and check. Howdy there, man! Hey there, lights! How's the lights doing? Hopefully you're doing fantastic. I'm doing fantastic. Let's, uh. We're in fortune gear right now. We are getting a preemptive strike. So let's see what these enemies are like. Let's see what these guys are like. Last dungeon, I really. Oh, man. Weak. I'll take some weak enemies. Get wrecked. I'll take some weak enemies. Give me those weak enemies. Good today? Good to hear. Good to hear there. Uh, lights. It's always good to hear that everyone's doing good. Always like to hear that. But yeah. Uh, oh, man. All right. Excuse me? Preemptive strike. Okay. I'm getting rid of whatever the hell these guys are. These guys need to die. They look they look like they're gonna cast confusion magic at me. And I do not appreciate that. Okay. And Ugh! Now you need to die. Goodbye, friend. It really... But you turn into a giant in the hub, so it's a few steps, right? <laughs> True. Oh, it, it... It's evasion went up. Well, that's... That's cool. Good job. Nice... Nice evasion protection right there. You did a wonderful job. Really is many miles, but you're a giant in the hub, true. Sealed by magic, eh? Guess we should use ourselves a duplicator. Growth egg. Do you wish to know? Yes. There are 320 treasure chests in this world, of which 88 have been opened. Oh, wow. 
Thank you, Mr. Treasure Chest. Thank... Okay. We've already opened... That's... We opened a shit ton of treasure chests so far. In this game. That's actually pretty cool. So we can come back here and always... Kind of... Have a guess as to how many, uh... No. Don't even attack me, friend. The device is keeping the door shut. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's not that. Okay, what does this have to say? Chamber of Fortune, find the light that guides you by matching the colors of the crystals. Oh. 12. Match the colors of the crystals. Oh, okay. Red and red, red and blue. That's yellow, green. So this is red, red, blue, yellow, green, or red, blue, yellow, green, red, blue, yellow, green, red, blue, yellow, green, red, blue, yellow, green, red, blue, yellow, green. Oh, you son of a bitch. It did that. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Okay. There we go. Thank you for being all next to one another. I'm I'm cool with that. Do I have the other wild arms you only have two and three <laughs> I only have three unfortunately only three uh, man I wish I got two I wish I had a bunch of other wild arm games because I really love the aesthetic of this one you know all right I don't even know why I was collecting those because I didn't get hit by anything so why was I collecting that that didn't make any sense. But yeah, like, uh, I wish I had them. I wish I had them, their lights. Like, I love, I love the aesthetic of this game. I love the aesthetic of this game. I don't know why I never, Sour Smile! Oh, come on. See, this is why I, did, I shouldn't have picked those up. Wind magic, eh? Okay. <laughs> we'll just have to put down one of these griffins for that. One was remade. Oh, huh. I didn't even know that, to be honest. Will you stop? It's like, oh yeah, I'm just saying, continuously buff myself up. I mean, cool with me if you want to keep buffing. Your buffs mean nothing to me. I feel like, I feel like this is not the right way. Adventure two. Five thousand G's. Lucky card times three. Okay, perfect. That was not the correct direction. Also, I don't care about that fight. But I did not know that. Oh, n are you kidding me? Are you, oh my God.
So I'm taking it's one every other. Okay. Well, that's not it. Oh, oh, why? Why did they think this is a good idea? Why do they think this is a good idea? This is not a good idea. Please stop. Oh my god. I'm just gonna find all these. So that way I don't have to deal with this. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they really hate the player, by the way. They really do not want you to, uh... They really don't want you to match these for whatever reason. Okay. Green. Oh my god. What's the point of this? What is the point of this? <laughs> Flooring? Exactly. I, I just don't get the point. Like, there's no point to this floor. Green, blue, blue, oh god, blue, what is the point if you're going to, if you're just going to leave it lit up, <laughs> like legitimately, if you're going to leave this lit up, what's the point of having the holes in the floor in the first place? Green and green. I think yellow's right up there if I don't fall over. There's red. And red. There we go. Like. Th this was pointless. <laughs> That was a pointless room. Is that what what's sucking out all the energy from the shrine? I I don't think it's satisfied with just the guardian life force. We appear to be its next meal. Give me a break. Well, if it's if this glutton is hungry, let's make it eat bullets. Oh man, let's go there, Jet. Let's be Jet being a badass. Jet being a badass right now. We're not cast some feeble mind against you. We're not fragile you. We're going to quicken a uh, good old Clive and then we're gonna decelerate you as well. Okay, there we go. We quicken Clive. So that way he gets rot rot rample, right? decelerate you prohibited play ah what the hell now we fragile you okay now what would you be possibly weak to let's 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 see if you're weak to fire magic, maybe some wind magic, maybe some petrify. Let's see. Oh, that healed him. Is he he getting healed by magic? Uh-oh. Yeah, he's getting healed by magic. We do not cast any magic at him. 
Yep, he's getting healed by magic. So we just stay away from magic, shoot him a bunch. Wait, I didn't catch that one. We just shoot you, my friend. Hey there, the giant green booger. Time to die. No, stop it. Stop poisoning Jet, please. That's not allowed. Stop it. <laughs> would this count as a mucus monster? Indeed it would. <laughs> we have found our mucus of this game. It is this monster. It is disturbing. Dear God. <laughs> Take this, mucus. It's like, yo. Would you like to discuss the joys of mucus? Blur. Stop it. Nice try. Warg! Oh my god. Now I can't heal, of course. That cast medicine on you. Uh. And we'll just keep going this way. Forget, forgot the monsters underneath your bed. Watch out for the ones in your nose. Exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> it, w it went warg and did that. I was like, oh my god. Nice miss, fool. Shoot and die. Stop it. Stop it now. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what we'll do? I'm gonna heal uh, Jet. And we're just gonna keep shooting you, bud. Giant mucus monster running. <laughs> He's like, please stop. Oh, <laughs> look at him. He's like, he, he, he was miming his way out of, uh, he was miming his way out of a uh, room right there. He's like, oh my God, I can't do, I can't do this. And, wow. Pathetic mucus monster. Hazel Sprig. A level up. Let's go. Ugh. That wasn't it. There's something else eating away at the Guardian's life force. We have sensed this evil before. The dark spirit that devours all forms is near. All life forms is nearby. Janice, how dare you desecrate life? Okay, well, one thing first, we need to use some medicine, and then we need to, uh, then we need to gimmel coin. Actually, you know what? We'll just heal you up, and then we'll gimmel coin. Okay, there we go. There we go. Hell yeah. But GG, heck yeah. 11, 18, boom. Are you guys ready? Let's keep it going here. Okay. That's, uh, oh man, why is there random encounters in a puzzle room? I don't get that. I'm trying to do a puzzle and you're not giving me random encounters. I don't get that. No, I'm not ready yet, right? Okay, so we have to figure out this puzzle after, wow, good job. Okay, now you're right. <laughs> ah! Can you not? 
I might have to kill these stupid griffins first. These griffins might need to die first. They have air, they have attacks that attack everybody. They might just have to go first. Let's go. Get wrecked. Yeah, they they have to go first. They're they're the first to die. Next time they're the first to die. Especially Clive. Clive just puts one of them out of its misery. No, don't kill Griffin. <laughs> Not trying to. Ah! <laughs> Griffin's not going to die. Good old Griffin. Okay. Where does it start? Okay. Shows you it starts right there. So, not that, definitely not you. Hmm, what? I don't get it. Aiden will be sad. True. Come on. I, I really don't want to be ambushed. By pathetic enemies. Pathetic enemies do not need to ambush me. Okay. We kill you. We go after you. Get these pathetic joke enemies out of my way. <laughs> Aiden will be sad. Eventually, Aiden will unfortunately not be... Around with us in the uh in the playthrough. Eventually they'll age up uh you know with the legacy. You know, they're not age up and not be not be with us anymore. But it'll be a while before that happens. Which is a good thing. Now get out of here! I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do here. Okay. I figured it out. I don't know how I just did that, but I figured it out. I'm out of here. Okay, game. I get it. We're gonna murder all these pathetic enemies first. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice attack. Oh, Gallo's trying to help. Clive, you need to kill this guy faster. There we go. These enemies need to die faster next time. Clive, you're not getting a raise in pay. He's like, I'm not getting paid anything. Aren't you listening to freaking uh, Jet right now? <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. Device is keeping the door shut, huh?
Leave me alone for five seconds, game. Okay, not you. Not you. Uh... Not you. There we go. Did it. Oh, yeah. Treasure chest room. Gimmel coin. Duplicator. Call whistle. I'll take all that. Thank you. Every time they give me a gimbal coin, I'm saving. Are you guys ready? I have 35 gimbal coins, by the way. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh, game. Oh, game, why? Ooh, a preemptive strike and only two griffins. Kill them both. Boom. Okay, that was 300 damage. That was 500 damage. Virginia is a level up. So is Gallows at 24. Hell yeah. Let's keep it going. Give me that gimbal coin. Oh no. Is there another breakable floor here? No breakable floor. Okay. Green. That's actually ridiculous. This, that, this. That's ridiculous. Unless. Unless. Oh, I get, I think I get what I need to do here. Nope. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. I bet you blue's up here, right? Yep. There we go. Let's go. We figuring stuff out. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I'm not getting into a fight right before before the boss fight, eh? Thankfully, I gimbal coined. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. I'm clearing up my PS4 clips and Yakuza like a dragon has eight gigs of clips. A lot of their a lot of them are Nancy Chan. Nice! Nice there. Jeff Rex, nice. You know the fun thing with the PS5 is uh for for uh for when you get your uh achievements, it saves a 15 second video of what you did to get the achievement. Like a 15 second video of uh, you getting the achievement in game. It, it's actually pretty cool. I like it. Man, am I going to do this? I'm going to do this. 
I'm done do this. I'm done do it. And I'm done be very sad. Damn it! I shouldn't have done it. Well, whatever. But yeah, it saves a 15 second video of you getting the, uh, the achievement. Oh, look at who it is. It's you again. You're nothing but a lapdog. You seem to be pretty comfortable fetching the Prophet's slippers. The Janus I knew, if I recall it correctly, used to have wings of his own, even if they were smeared black. Why are you clapping? Well said, princess, but your attempts to provoke me are still uninspired. You still, you think that if I lose my temper, I will stop gathering the Guardian's life force and attack you. Is that your intention? That's pretty clever, but my orders are to gather the life force from this sucker. That's it. And if I forfeit my mission and fight you, who, knew, who knows what they'll do to me? Damn prophets, what do those blokes want with all this energy anyway? To transform Phil Gaia? What nonsense. What would be the outcome? Do they not know that the Guardian's life force is being stored within my body? Even with the ancient wisdom, those blokes have absolutely no idea how to utilize this energy effectively. That's why I've decided to use it for them. In order to live freely and rid my, yourself of all restraint, you need power. This is exhilarating. With this power, I can overcome all restraints. Don't tell me you're up to what you do best. Double crossing. Double crossing? No, I wouldn't call it that. I just want to be true to myself and live freely. Live freely? Is that what it means to live freely? Precisely. Arg. The one who has the most power and can push everyone aside is the one who lives most freely. No, you're wrong. That's not what it means to have the power of freedom. Are you at it again, princess? You should know by now. Without power, you're unable to do whatever you want. You just become a pawn of someone who has power. But right now, the great power lies within me. I am free. No one can get in my way. Janice Cascade, you cold-blooded monster! That's right, princess. I've been liberated from my human form into this cold-blooded monster. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh! I'm burning up. I'm about to explode. It's as if something's trying to break out from my insides. Could this be the Guardian's power? How about you not do that, okay? Uh, you could, uh, you know, you know, do this thing called, you know, be feeble-minded, and, you know, you could be fragile, and you could be this thing called, uh, you know, uh, we could uh, tr try to quicken. Actually, you know what? What does that do? We'll do that to you. And we'll shield you. Here we go. Ow. Well, that was a lot of damage I just took in one shot. Jerk. I didn't... Oh, is he reflecting stuff? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, he's... I like how he did that. I like how the game told me that that was going to happen, by the way. Yeah, that was, that was great. Yeah, nice, nice attack, friend. That was great. All right. Time to shoot you. <laughs> okay. 
All right, let's just kind of. God dang. Oh my God, that hurt. Oh, that hurt really bad. That hurt really, really bad. That hurt a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Okay. And my whole team died. Great. I like how I was supposed to know that that was going to happen, by the way. That was, uh, that was great. I'm just going uh, to reload that. This is a reload situation, by the way. This is where you reload the game. I like how I'm just supposed to know that he's, I have reflect on at the very beginning of the uh, fight, by the way. That's, that was great. Can you just kill him? So that way I can reload. There. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So, we just go full steam ahead. We go full steam ahead. We heal up everyone and then we just mystic some uh, berries. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mystic some berries. Okay. I just need to get a lot of FP. But yeah. There we go. Okay. Pathetic. Just keep getting enough to get mystic. Man. Oh, let's get that critical in. Let's go. Janice is annoying. I'm gonna heal Jet because I I sense a negative rainbow coming. How are my weapon upgrades? I think they're doing decent. Uh, I put I'm I've put in some uh upgrades to a lot of people so far. Ugh! Like nine out of ten or nine or ten out of the fifteen upgrades. I still don't know how to upgrade it beyond 15. That's the thing. All right. I think what we're done do, I think we're done do this. I just want to play it safe currently. I think we're going to try to reload everybody while we do this. Perfect. He got that in where I wanted him to get it in. Perfect, friend. Okay. Get in all the heals. We're fully healed. Everyone's reloading. All right. 
There we go. And off we go again. There we go. Boom. Okay, I'm cool with him doing that. I don't care if he does that. I want him to do stuff like that rather than uh, the negative rainbow. For whatever reason, he used that a lot in the last fight. Okay, I'll take that. Let's go. Oh, great! Let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> the power that sustains the world. Amazing. No matter how much damage I take, I will not perish. This is the power I have been after. This is mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. <laughs> oh, man. He's a little crazy. Just a tad bit. Nice crit. Oh, yeah. Say your prayers, princess. I'll make this quick and painless. Psych. Surprised. It'll be a waste for me to use my powers when you're already half dead. Don't worry, princess. I'll let you blokes live a little longer. Stop. Where do you think you're going? Just kicks her down. Oh, God. Sorry, princess. But I have places to go and things to do. I'm a busy man. Oh, jeez. Jerk. Lucky hand acquired. We're too late again. I can feel the anger, chagrin, and frustration of the Guardian robbed of its life force. Is it because of the Arc Scepter? Probably not, huh? It's because the Guardian and I are both trying to survive desperately in Philgaia. We share the same sentiment. What is it that I'm seeking? The freedom he talked about? If I had the power, I could have denied him of his freedom. Arr. Didn't you win, though? Indeed. How much longer do we have to fight that guy? Why do I have to be bound by fate? I know. It's up to me whether I want the fight or not. Then I'll just... What he talks about isn't freedom. It's just a cop-out. I can't do something so lame. Sorry, everyone. I'll s I'm slow to catch fire, but I it looks like I'm ready to burn. For the sake of the Guardians, who were violated? You can say that. But moreover, because I want to find my own freedom by denying him his. Gallows. Let's get back to Humphrey's Peak and wash away this gloomy mood. We can't march forward with our he heads hung low, right, leader? Let's march on. Nice. But yeah, I did win. It was a glorious win as well. Uh, you know what we're done do? Just in case, I'm done a gimbal coin after that because I don't trust that the game's not gonna be like, oh yeah, you want this fight out here, don't you? Oh man, I'm glad I decided to do this. Uh, that that's one big enemy. Get out of here! Go away! But yeah, I won. I'm glad I won as well. Giant scissors. But we're getting close to. A thousand HP for each of our characters here there guys glorious also we need to equip that on someone we need to put we need to uh, equip okay it's between Clive and gallows Clive and gallows who gets lucky hand HP 
HP, aim, and evasion go up. And he has no aim, but he only gets three aim from that. Whereas Clive... Oh my god. Imagine him having crazy evasion. Ooh, him having great evasion. Him having great evasion already with RA crazy aim. Ooh, I'm, I, I kind of want to put lucky hand on Clive. I think I want to put lucky hand on Clive. That would make his evasion crazy already. Like his evasion is higher than his defense. I, I like it. We do. We we are going that way. Okay. Does he already have... Fiery Rage. Already has Confusion and... Uh, that. Confusion and that. And he has status ward array against. I'm going to give you this to guard against that. I kind of want to give you a bunch of stuff. Alright. So let's go to personal skills. Let's Alright, that was easy. Alright, Jet. Okay. Hmm. That's a one. And this is a four. We do that. All right. Let's go in here. <laughs> I'm already starting to giggle maniacally. Vote Clive indeed. Oh, I I had to. I had to. And my evil maniacal laughter right there is the reason. Okay. We need you to get rid of. We need the status ward against that. We need to get rid of all these potential issues. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay, we have to go on the train again. We need to go to Humphrey's Peak. Then we'll call our horse again. Also, is this guy going to congratulate me? For the station is going downhill, no one ever comes. So whenever I'm on duty, I I work on making and solving puzzles. I've been I've been chipping away at this one for two years, and now it's finally taking shape. You see, I have a sponsor who constructs puzzles I design all over Phil Gaia. I'm not entirely sure who he is or what he's doing, why he's doing it, but I try not to pry. After all, people who like puzzles are good people. Okay, all right. I mean, I'm cool with that. Whatever you say, friend. All right, let's uh go back to the East Highlands. But yeah. We had to, we had to, we had to make it Clive. Clive was the, the best, the best answer right there. Clive was the best answer right there. Ooh, we've already done two dungeons tonight. I'm happy. We're, we're making progress in this game. I love it. For me not playing this game in a very long time, 
I'm making some good progress. Alright. Now, where in the world am I? Okay, I have to go this way. So let me go to Seas Bay. Over here to Humphreys Peak. Progress high! Indeed. Indeed, they're new me! Let's go! Hell yeah. Oh man. The planet is incomplete. Imperfect to be endowed the full wisdom of Hiatus. It rejects us and is therefore unsightly. Its unsightliness is like a poopa. Poop? Papa? Papa waiting to emerge. This planet must reincarnate into utter beauty, like a butterfly. Like me? Is that what you were thinking? Malik, since when have you? I heard your vainglorious looks had no effect on that man. I think I like the old you better. Temper, temper. It is not very admirable of you to use the wisdom of Hiatus for your own personal matters. Like resurrecting the dead, a spin-off of a spin-off of life control technology. You think I haven't noticed? Cute emote? Indeed. Those are some great emotes there. That light has as well. You think I haven't noticed? I apologize. I said a little too much. I didn't mean to hide my experiment from you either. I was going to let you know after I made more progress. There is no need for the three of us to quarrel. We all strive for the same goal. Our goal? To recreate this entity of life we call Phil Gaia. Ever since we were evo we were evolved by the wisdom of Hiatus, the environment of this planet is too much of a burden on us, and that is and that is why we carry out the terraforming to alter the makeup of the environment using the wisdom of Hiatus to evolve the planet into Terra, a planet that is suited for us. And by doing so, we are also promoting the analysis and practice of the lost wisdom from the information library, Hiatus. We will be in charge of this lost technology of the gods. This has been a long cherished ambition for us as disciples. However, should our plan fail, we will be nothing but an alien and element to this life entity we call Phil Gaia. The plan will no doubt deem us as parasites and begin to cleanse itself in order to exterminate us. Our deaths would simply not simply be our own, but the stagnation of evolution. In other words, the end of the human race. The future is meant for the evolved. We are the wo only ones worthy. That is why we must evolve Phil Gaia into a form suited just for us. It is the dark spear that points to Phil Guy's future and ours. Melody, accompany Asgard and eliminate those unwanted drifters. Yes, sir. Yes, my master. It speaks? The internal Gemini circuit enables him to learn it, and the evolutionary anal analog an analogism Gives them the ability to reason. Looks like they are beginning to take effect. Nice! Also, I love the animated emotes as well. The GIF ones. I love those. Accumulating past battle data and analyzing the proper action to take is, to take is what forms his simulated spirit. So if the Gemini circuit is his soul, then all the data he collects can be likened to his memories. Depending on the type of data he gathers, he may even form emotions one day. Hmm. This is my field, but very interesting indeed. The formation of memory. Malik, continue with the download. I want you to bring up the schedule by seven steps. Seven steps? Sir, why the rush? Is there a problem? I have just received word from Balaz. Janice has stored the extracting guardian life energy into his own body. 
I'm on mobile. I didn't know it was animated. Right? Oh, man. Come on, Twitch. Indeed. Exactly. Eventually, that needs to be a thing. But I love the animated emotes. Those are great. They're lights. <laughs> Those shaking faces always get me. Janice has reached his final level. His motive or ours, if we don't act now, the future may fall into the hands of one with unsuitable ambitions. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mobile Twitch, indeed. Your father? Well, I don't remember much about him. I was only a little girl. Actually, my uncle told me he was a scientist. You know, looking back, the only memories I have of my father are him teaching me how to handle arms. If that photo is indeed the Console of Seven, or if it is somehow connected to the Prophets, it may have something to do with the mysteries of the world. Just as my professor, Catherine's father did, perhaps they were looking for the mystery behind Phil Gaia's decay. Then your professor is a scientist too? Yes. He was in search of Phil Gaia's memories so that he might track down the cause behind the planet's decay. He passed away several years ago during an accident. It's all my fault. Listen, uh, I'm sorry. You told us this story before. I'm sorry I brought it up. Please, don't worry. It just makes us more uncomfortable. Yeah, that's all in the past now. And there's nothing more pointless than dwelling on the past. Right? <laughs> it's booty. <laughs> right? Oh my god. Just because you don't have any memories doesn't give you the right to say such a cruel thing. Look who's talking. Ooh. These two, man. Hey, is Clive here? Was this a bad time? No, not at all. What can I do for you? I just received word about a mission that calls for a skilled drifter and thought of you. If you're busy, I could come back later. No, we're fine. We would... We would need to know the details. Oh, right. The client is waiting underneath the street lamp in the town center. Okay. What? Who's the client? He's a member of a rising religious order. I think they're called the Ark of Destiny or something. It's that guy that came to repair the memory figure re recently. He's dressed funny, so you can't miss him. Best of luck to you. Okay, well, now we gotta go over there. From an errand, boy of the gods, huh? Sounds sounds pretty shady. You're one to talk. Well, let's get our game face on. <laughs> let's get our game face on. Let's go. All right. Apparently, we can't uh, rest up over here anymore. Huh? Interesting. But before we do that, I'm going to save. Because, you know, we got to save. That's a good idea right about now. But man, oh man. We have, uh, we have really done a lot of work here. I, under I understand you'll take on this mission. Ve thank you very much. We'd like you to brief us first. Then we'll decide whether or not to accept or not. Very well. I understand. We at the Ark of Destiny are dedicated to using ancient artifacts to bring about a better future. Free from these harsh environmental conditions. A religious order has recently discovered a ruin in this area. It is said to be an ancient ruin. Dating back to the very first people who inhabited this planet very first people who inhabited this planet they are they are people from the unknown who descended to the fertile plains of the of this planet from a ship that soars the heavens you're talking about the legend about our forefathers coming to f fill a guy on a flying ship right I thought it was just fairy tale many people see it as that 
However, we at the Order have excavated a number of ruins that substantiate the tale. The ruin in question is another one. What would you like us to do? I would like you to get past its security system and make your way to the power room to retrieve the Kazim Fire. The Kazim Fire? What's that? Just as the name implies, it's a beautiful crystal that tr shines a translucent red. However, its true value is not in its physical beauty. It is a crystallization of energy that once set the ship that soars the heavens afloat on the seas, allowing them to keep it running. That is the true worth of the Kazim Fire. Or so the legend says. So it is nothing but a rumor without much cred credibility, but... If in fact this is true, we will be able to gain the power of the ship that soared the heavens. As our name implies, we at the Ark of Destiny wish to guide mankind towards the future. Oh man, nice! Well, okay, we'll accept this mission. Are you sure you are not making a hasty decision? Shouldn't we find out more? It's true that we hardly know anything about this Ark of Destiny. But if such a powerful crystallization of energy lives untouched deep within a ruin, the prophets will come knocking. Since there are so many unknowns about this mission, I don't know if we can live up to your expectations. We won't ask for payment up front, but we would like to be paid in full if we succeed. Very well. If successful, I will pay me $2,000! $2,000! Are you, are you, are you mocking me right now? Are you mocking me? That's what I'm talking about. No negotiations needed. Then it's agreed. Well, I'll let you know what we find. Good luck. They're mocking me. They're mocking me with this. Where, where do I go? Southwest of town. Ruins southwest of okay. <laughs> Money, 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 right there, GFX. <laughs> Wish you Godspeed. Oh man, good lord. I cannot believe. Okay. Uh, you know what we should do? Let's go. I kind of want to sell a few things. Like that. That's useless to me. That I want. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's uh let's look at this. Let's see. All right. Uh upgrade. Okay, initialize upgrade. What do I want done? What does this do though? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not I, I saved beforehand. I already saved, but we're done just double check and we're done double save. Just to make sure. I don't know what this does. I don't remember what this does. So we're gonna we're gonna just make sure we're Good to go here. Okay. 
Uh, lewd? Oh. <laughs> what? Hey there, Prinny. How's Prinny doing? Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Initialize upgrade. I mean... Oh, okay. I get what it does. It up... Okay. All right. I get what happens here. How many... So it's basically like uh, transmigrating. What? 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 <laughs> Wait, what? I, I did not, okay, I didn't just stand Jet over here and just stare at his, you know, rear end. That, that's not, that's not what's happening right now. Totally not, to, totally not what's happening, okay? <laughs> totally not what's happening. <laughs> Jet's in the corner of shame? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. He's in a he's in a great corner. <laughs> but hey there, Brittany. How's Brittany doing? Oh man. All right, I think I want to see how much damage I'm doing with me just doing that. Put him there for like 40 seconds. True, true. Oh man, good lord. The chaos, the chaos that Brittany brings, the br the chaos that Brittany brings. Oh my God! Oh man! I just want to see how much more damage I'm gonna do. Come on! We need we need Clive to just go crazy. I want Clive to be just like a crazy. Don't you dare, you bitch! I, I want Clive to just go insane. Can you just stop? <laughs> I was co comment. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I didn't even. Oh, my God. I got two antidotes while poison, but yeah, it's all good. No, 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 it's fine. It's fantastic. A good, a good mood, Brinny, is a good thing. Hell yeah, let's go. He's in the. He is. He was not in the corner of shame though. <laughs> he was. He was put in the corner for that. Oh yeah, I, I'm always distracted. I get distracted very easy. <laughs> Oh, good lord. I get very distracted. Okay. Now that... Why are the cats still doing handstands? They're not even trying to run. Why are you doing a handstand? Stop it! Don't cast sleep at me. Okay, well, Gallows is asleep. Stop. Stop. Stop now. They're, they're, they really want him to go to sleep, by the way. He's sleeping while standing. Oh! Oh my god, that's so good! Okay. We did 396 damage. While basically, you know. Hmm. Okay. So, we need to go to the southwest of town, apparently. Uh, so, th that way is south. So, southwest of town is over there. Uh, I wonder. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, I won't, I won't lie, I get distracted, my God. Now, if I could, you know, find $5,000, that'd be great. 
If you could, uh, you know, point me in the way of $5,000, be... Oh, you do. You are going to help me out here. But, uh, yeah, like, legit, you know. Uh, I think what we'll do is I'm going to try to grind up some, uh, some cash. Let's try to grind up some cash, I think. And, uh, do that sort of stuff. We got free, we got free place to stay. And let, I hope that's giving me, I need what? How much money do I need for that last upgrade? 13 grand? Isn't it 13 grand or something like that? Where's your arm store? Uh, let's see. Thirteen grand. Ay, caramba. But we did get a, uh, we did get a new, our a uh, new uh, magical spell. I don't want to, I, I feel like I don't want to start a new dungeon, but we can just kind of hover around and, uh, and talk about just random stuff. So what, what's up, uh, what's been on everybody's mind? How is every, anyone got any crazy plans for the weekend? Uh, I don't have any crazy plans for the weekend. Uh, let's see. I don't know what I want to Tomorrow's stream was, I, I still kind of am in the, I'm kind of in the air about tomorrow's stream. I have no idea what I want to do with tomorrow's stream. Oh my god, he is murdering things. He is murdering things. I like it. I like it. Please continue murdering. Also, while I'm thinking about it, what is this? Okay there, Jet, you get your material count up. Okay. There we go. Bada boom, bada bing. I just want to make some cash. Uh, we could even possibly, ah, my nose is itchy. But one of the good things, uh, uh so I've been, uh, dealing with the old, the old, uh, sinus issues again recently, but I finally found something that seems to work for me. So that's a good thing. Also, that critical. <laughs> I love how the cats are doing handstands and their backs are like bending over backwards. And it's like, holy moly, what is a matter with you, cat? Ooh, okay. Uh, we're gonna let you open it. A breath mint. I did all that for a breath mint. Well, I'm gonna go over here and cry. I'm gonna try to see if there's anything I can sell for extra cash. Because I don't wanna start another dungeon, seeing as it's near the end of stream anyway. We've done uh, two and a half dungeons tonight, so, you know. <laughs> Man, this game is tough with the uh, money, man. They're like, yo. Nullifies poison. Oh, man. Do I get rid of this for cash? I don't think I do that. Man, give me cash. 
Give me cash. Give me cash. <laughs> if I could only find more money. Hello? Why is there no... <laughs> why is... Okay. I mean, I save money by staying here, but... Hmm. Well, I guess, uh... Man. I think this will be a perfect place to end uh, tonight's stream. So